The third engineering deliverable that I show you is the famous process flow diagram. This is, it is one that most chemical process engineer knows and or have heard about. And in summary, the process flow diagram, it's a graphic representation of the heating material balance and it is a document very important for chemical process engineer because we understand where things begins and where it ends and how the streams changes during the process and what kind of equipment is added to to processing and etc but sometimes it is used to make it easier to management understand the scope of supply of a new project. In this case, I have here the black lines that represent the existing facility and the red lines that is the new project that I'm working on. And although usually there is no control signals in the PFD, in this case, I added that because it is very important to our customer understand how the pressure control will be done for him. So in this case, we have a more detailed information about process control. And just to, to verify with more details, I have here the raw gas and its condition of pressure and temperature. I have also the hot gas composition and it is a saturated gas with water. So I have a water separator in my plant and I have two blowers here where it takes the, the gas inlet, builds some pressure and sends that to the compressor as we had seen in the markup PNID earlier. And as we have a gas available, we'll send part of this gas to a new customer and we are adding a, a control valve or a automatic valve in the, the pipe for the customer for control reasons and safety reasons. Once again, it's very important to you verify the stamp or the cover of each documentation, engineering documentation. In here, you can see the revision, the data of issue, and in this, this document, you can see if it is preliminary. That is also, he did the doc document, who did the verification and approval, the number of the project, the number of the document, it's very important, local or uh, in country, and uh, the name of the design company or something like that. It is based in a real case, but it's a sample e and all the information here is preliminary and I will fill everything here based on the heat and material balance. And in this case, I use the, the symmetry that is from Islumberger. I will show you how it looks like. So here I have my screen with the symmetry and to define the, the pipe size for delivering the gas stream to the customer, I use this and that is defined based, based on the pressure drop between the time point and the battery limits. So to develop my process flow diagram, I need to do the heat material balance. However, to do the mat heat material balance, I need other information that comes from other disciplines like project management and plant layout. And so to, to do the pressure drop calculation, I need to know how the layout is but as that is not a chemical process engineering document, I will not show, show that for you.